Seoul's latest countermeasure following Pyongyang's fourth nuclear test earlier this week. South Korean military has resumed anti-North Korea loudspeaker broadcast at the inter-Korean border starting at noon. Today just so happens to be the North Korean leader's birthday as well. The South Korean military has raised its readiness to its highest level as the North has a history of lashing out against the speakers. Our Kim Hyun-bin joins us from the Ministry of National Defense in Seoul. Hyun-bin, after a few months of relative calm on the Korean Peninsula, tension quickly heated up. Uh, that's right, Daniel. Uh, South Korean troops along the border are, are in the highest state of alert to respond swiftly and strongly if North Korea retaliates against loudspeakers. Now, let's see what the Defense Ministry has to say. In response to North Korea's fourth nuclear test, our military restarted the use of propaganda loudspeakers at noon on Friday. If the North carries out a provocation, we will counter and make them pay dearly. The speakers are set up in 11 different areas along the border. They pump out news and messages condemning North Korea's repressive government and even play the latest K-pop hits at high volume. The speakers will be turned on irregularly in various parts of the border at different points points uh, during the day and night. Now, officials here tell me that the military has deployed additional surveillance assets as well as extra firepower to the border. They also told me that there have been signs of extra surveillance and military movements north of the border. Seemingly, North Korea set up its own loudspeakers on the border to cancel out the propaganda messages from the south to prevent them from being heard. Now, if Pyongyang tries to attack, now South Korea says it will fire back with four times the force, which it is entitled to do under Article 51 of the UN Charter. Well, Hyunbin, we hope North Korea doesn't do anything that rash, but South Korea knows full well how much Pyongyang loathes these loudspeaker broadcasts. Yeah, that's right. The South used these giant loudspeakers uh, pretty recently in August of last year. Now, Seoul turned them on in a retaliatory measure after South Korean, two South Korean soldiers got injured uh, by landmines planted by North Korea in the demilitarized zone. Now, at the time, the broadcast caused tensions to flare up badly with Pyongyang giving Seoul 48 hours to switch them off or face strong military action. But talks at the border village of Panmunjom eventually calmed the situation, with the two sides reaching a landmark deal with South Korea, agreeing to stop the broadcast unless an abnormal situation occurred in the north. Now, Seoul quite clearly sees the nuclear test as a good enough reason to fire these speakers back up. Now, North Korea has repeatedly called for the end of the broadcast, viewing them as an insult to its dignity. Now, Pyongyang is also concerned that an influx of outside information could pose a threat to its young leader. And some experts are concerned North Korea could lash out today, especially as today is Kim Jong-un's birthday. Now, meanwhile, some South Korea's Defense Minister Han Min-gu spoke with his Japanese counterpart, Jen Nakatani, on the phone a few minutes ago and talked about issues regarding North Korea's fourth nuclear test. But details on the conversations are yet to be confirmed. Back to you.